perspective of game one. So let's go. Let's fast forward a bit, get to landing phase. Recording died on me in the middle of last time after five minutes, so let's uh it doesn't happen again. Fine. Okay. Back getting into landing phase. So, uh, for the recording data on me, I was just saying, like, Serena has a good shot of level one. She had shot Swain, but there's no really need to trade mana with him because his mana sustain is better than yours, but he can farm decently, so. So taking that risk, you can just chill mid, farm the wave as it comes to you. Um, you will have to back before him though to get your lost chapter, but once you get lost chapter, lost chapter, you can shove pretty freely, without having to worry about mana sustain. This one CS, alright, two CS. Okay. Okay, good positioning there. Really good, really good stun there. Clear all three minions, and you managed to get some damage on him with it. So, it's really good. And he's taking minions now, so it's good. Uh, since you do have a ward up at the moment, you have two actually. Um, I'd like to see you try, if you have pressure to shove early, I'd like to see you try to shove early and get a ward on raids, because uh, that offers a lot of information to Abdul and you about where the jungler is, so. I've done raids, but just like right here is really good, because you can see here and you can see them if they walk out, so you'll know where they're going. Because Swain has a ward in river now, but you're blind in river, so I don't really want that to happen. Okay, just showed mid. Yeah, you can see he's uh, mana sustaining you already. It's alright. This wave is cannon, so in three waves you should look to back because it'll be harder for him to shove you in and force you to miss yes then. So, three waves time. Back. We're, this is fine, yeah, just holding the lane on your side is all you really need to do. Not ideal to go for the Q there, because it's pretty 50-50 on it. It's taking away mana that you kind of need right now. Alright. It's a couple of CS, but doing pretty good in CS, so it's not too big of a deal. Alright, this way we should look the back. So just fast shove and then recall. Square, square is bloom triggered, swings off the map. Look the back here. It's a greedy spot to recall. Should get in the habit of walking to your turret and recalling. It takes a couple extra seconds, but it reduces the chance that they interrupt you greatly, so. Recalling here, if he if he's smart and fast shoves, then you will definitely miss two, three, two minions and a can minion, which would set you behind any XP heavily. Put him ahead. Should you have six for a while before you do? He's really fast shoving now, so you're alright. At six, he's gonna have to shove in one more. Okay, so he's just landing pretty poorly. Uh, okay, nice. You got it. 
able to hit six off of it, so it's really good. But yeah, so now all you need is just keep the pressure up and not let him back. Nice, good interrupt. Be careful for E. Okay, good. Yeah, so all you need to do is just shove the wave as fast as possible. Keep him here. Good, good. Okay. Okay. Last chapter in boots. Refine items. Uh, boots gives you the ability to dodge swings. Never move better. And like I was burnt faster. No, that was too big of a deal already. I know this is too big of a problem already, but helps that much more in last chapter. Obviously, mass sustain. Mirella's broken item. Gotta get it, especially for Swain. Those grievous wounds. Blue end off, pretty standard eight minutes, second buff timer spawn, or second run of buff spawn, so, yeah, it's chill. Jafar should have dropped a ward off there, since he has one, he has two trinkets, two trinket charges. Just the way Swain is playing, like, you can pretty easily tell that he knows you're there. But there's no reason that he would play to the, this side of the map otherwise. Because Blue just got hit at all. He has Vigi here too. Nice, good job. But the other thing is, since you do have Blue buff now, you should be looking to shove him in and then clear vision on the side so that you can continue to play aggressive. So, you're not going to be able to just like straight bash heads with him because he has sustain, but you can outshove him. That's what you should look to do, especially since his ult cooldown is like 20 seconds. And then you go look to clear the vision on the sides and get vision into their jungle. So, you guys go for right here, it's fine. They're going to head off blue, you got to get dragged. You could have known exactly this is happening if Jafar dropped off forward earlier, but I already said that in the other video, so, so whatever. And this one, so whatever. Okay, so you can drag in for top. Chris should just head mid, mid and catch the wave. I don't think he was... You might as well just stay until you have money from Alamalakan at this point. So you probably have like something like 1300 gold. Uh, I don't... I can't see your gold count, so I don't know exactly, but probably is somewhere around there. Yeah, you can't walk that close to Swain. Okay. First ghost. Oh. And then you're supposed to... <laughs> Alright. I was wondering why you shut up here half HP, but... Now I know. Well, cool. Okay. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. You gotta kill, but... You're gonna be so behind in EXP, so in the 1v1 you won't have priority in the lane anymore. 5 minutes, plus carry. It's like half a level. You're just under half a level of EXP at this point. It's a lot. If it was a normal minion wave, like, it would it'd be fine, because you're not missing as much EXP, but... It, he's gonna be level 10 to level... Or he's almost level 10, I'm pretty sure. Halfway. Okay, just kidding. 
I don't know what I'm talking about. So it was more XP, I guess not. Okay, it was actually pretty worth then. Bought like us this too. So yeah, that's worth it. It's King Ghost. I also gold the XP for it, but got the kill. I don't know how Alan got to decide. I think he just walked around, I don't know. But, yeah. There's like not enough vision being used at the moment. Or vision being placed, or wards being placed at the moment. Okay. Wards alright, could be a bit better. Putting it here would be better, because you can still walk, hug the corner and walk, I'm pretty sure. Or it might get spotted, like, barely. But, yeah, so it could be a bit better. Okay, so you see someone walking. Just strange that he would go just for the sake of clearing the ward, but, yeah. Once the stun missed, should have should have aborted. Yeah, once the sun missed, you should have just uh, stopped the call. Is that flash for ye? Oh, it's not worth it. I mean, you're still in flash too, but flash is so much more valuable on the Rengar. Because it gives you a bit of like extra surprise factor, so you can cover distance faster with ulti. You got Kayla not uh, out of it. You lost Cinderella for it. So it's it's about even in the end. But Flash is pretty useful in there. Does not see the boots just yet, so Alright, you got last chapter. Let's see your boots. Mm. Okay, I could see an argument for lucidity of boots here. They have a lot of dives, so having having more uptime on your escapes is more important. So, okay. That's alright. You're not crushing lane either, so... And you're gonna one-shot the squishies regardless of Sork Shoes or not. So, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's see the argument for it. What I'd like to see here is, uh... Haunting guys into Leandries. Because then you you would melt Swain and Nass. That's really hard. Plus it gives you a bonus flat pen. Alright, welcome back to lane. I'm probably going to do this video until lane phase ends. Because I covered macro in the other game. But, okay. Going top to counter room. I also should be using his uh, trinket more, because he's walking. He's walking in a lot of like neutral areas, but he's not dropping off vision when he has a chance. Like he could have dropped a ward off here. He could have dropped a ward off here. It takes like five seconds. Okay, good good catch on the really good roam call. Good follow up here. You're gonna kill the uh, karma here. I'm pretty sure. Nice. Okay. I right, hear they trade mid. So yeah, I, I, rubbing was definitely the right call. But after this point, you should just after the you got the kill on karma, like I said in the other video, you should just recall with a uh, caught new. TPs and cancels. Uh, you're pretty huge right now, so you're gonna go for Ludens here, yeah. And Hunting Guys is pretty good as well, so it's like 75 AP, 
Percent HP burn, and the percent HP burn procs the Gibby Spoons armor on Omicron, so it makes it that much more difficult for Swain to get it off of him once it's on, because it lasts longer because of the burn. Plus 15 flat pen means just annihilate squishies. And the H extra HP means Swain can't just like insta burst you or anything. Okay. At this point, lane phase is like pretty much over, so I think I can cut the video here. Uh, the only thing I had to say about lane phase was there was like a couple of suboptimal trades. Quite. A, causes you to lose a bit of lane pressure, and then I think getting an early shove and getting words on the rates is really important because it gives a lot of information to your jungler and to the whole team about where the jungler is going, so you can play around the jungler that much better, because once the jungler is spotted somewhere, you can put wards on the other side of the map and then get vision in the jungle and crowd him out, so yeah, other than that, you, you put lane phase pretty safe, just farm, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it.